Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to your brand new FIFA 19 squad builder on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you this really cool 250k skill squad builder. Now, if you're wondering how I managed to get this team so early on, I actually managed to pack a lot of these players. So as you can see there in goal, we've got Edison, who I actually brought for around 28,000 coins. I brought Raphael, I brought Paulista, the right centre-back. I brought Wendell and then I brought Coleman, but the rest of the players in this squad I did actually manage to pack from completing the SBCs. Um, the reason I made this team and not sold all the players is just because when the full game is released on the 28th, all these players will go up in price quite a lot. So overall this team is just absolutely insane, it's definitely the best team I've used so far this FIFA. And I was really struggling with the gameplay, but you know, now that I've started to use this team, I've started to win a lot of matches again, and even in squad battles, you know, I've started to push myself up the ranks into that top 100 spot where it's very, very good. Um, so overall, yeah, this squad is just absolutely insane, as expected in the early part of the game. So guys, that's the squad. Now let's get into the highlights. So now moving into the squad highlights for this 250k team, I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons with this team and also taking you through the different sections such as the goalkeeper defence, midfield and attack. So starting off in the goalkeeper position we had Edison, now he was so so good, by far the best keeper I've used this FIFA, you know really good reflexes, really good diving and also his kicking is absolutely insane, um, just like in real life to be honest you know he does those really cool um, long passes on that stronger left foot and yeah just an all round really really good keeper and I think I played around 10 matches with this team and I only actually conceded one goal what's very good and another reason I only conceded one goal is just because this defense is honestly incredible you know we've got Naldo and Paulista in at these center back positions really nice pace um, really good defending and really good physical on the both of them I think the only thing that lets Naldo down a bit is his stamina isn't the best um, but apart from that he is very very good and then the reason I went with Raphael and Wendell in the fullback positions is just because I do have four star skill moves this year, what is absolutely insane. And I've realised that a lot of fullbacks this year have been upgraded to four or even five star skills. Now, I could have gone with Marcelo in this team, but at the moment he's around 110k. And I don't really want to be wasting all my coins on a left back. And then moving into the midfield for this team, we have Fernandinho, Thiago and Tolisso. Now, I managed to pack all these cards and they just are the perfect balance of a midfield in my opinion. You've got Tolisso, who's sort of the box-to-box -box midfielder. Then you've got Fernandinho, who's more of the defensive midfielder, but has absolutely insane long shots and free kicks. And then you have Thiago, who's sort of like the more attacking player, but doesn't really go too far forward. And then finally, we have the front three in this team, who are absolutely insane. Coleman and Mahrez with the five-star skills, and then Gabriel Jesus up front. So guys, this has been the squad builder. If you enjoyed it, I want to see more squad builders on my channel. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.